Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So apparently the game auto-saved out here, which it didn't do the last time, but whatever. We are here now. Um, and we need to work out how we're going to get past the, well, one of the wolves, because one of them is, you know, already busy eating a deer. And I kind of wish the second one would come over here and join him and stop attempting to murder me. That would be great. Yes, thank you. Game... Look, I know Bethesda does this, and they're like a AAA games company, so obviously they know what they're doing, but, um, you don't need to keep showing me the tooltips. Right? Like, I've seen them once. I know I died, but I have seen the tooltip. I don't need to see it again. I'm taking the stick. It's mine now. Um, we should keep our torch ready, which we have. Light sources, torch. Here we go. We will light this once we get a little bit closer to where that other wolf is. I don't want to. I don't want to waste it because the torches they last a decent amount of time, but it would be super awkward if the wolf showed up just as my torch went out and then I died. So let's make sure to check all these cars. Nope, not in there. Yes, thank you. I know how cars work. This should have soda. Yep, there we go. Some soda. Nothing else. Doesn't seem like there's anything in the back. And I guess we'll just go straight across the bridge, since there didn't seem to be a whole lot going on um, down that little side path down there. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Look what I got. That's right. I got fucking fire. Go away. He's coming awful close to me. He's trying to... Oh, he's, he's mad. Nope, 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 nope. Go away. Go away. I have fire. Fuck. Okay, this wolf isn't scared of fire. What do? Is he still chasing me? No. Okay, well, um, the wolf is not scared of fire, but is apparently not... Oh, no, there he is. He's after me. Yeah, I see you. No, fuck. Sake. Why does this wolf hate me so much? What did I do to him? Fall off the log, you monster. Oh, can the wolf not cross that? Oh, fantastic. Okay, so I guess that's the point of that little side path. Well, um, I guess we can put our torch out then. I'm not going back to go and see if I can loot those other cars. Just, you know, no. We're not doing that. I'm not getting eaten by a wolf. We're going to try and get as far away from here as we can before he comes back to murder us. I'm not entirely sure how well my stamina regenerates while I'm moving, but it's probably not very well. Ah, this car up here. Okay, cool. We can search that one. I'm taking the stick as well, because it's on my path. Okay, well, it is good to know that wolves will not run across down trees like that. That is useful information that probably would not have learned otherwise. Well, I probably would have found it out at some point, or I assume someone would have told me. Oh, it's starting to snow. That's not good. Trunk is locked. Um, is there anything in this car? I don't think we made it to this car last time. Oh! Oh, yes, we did, didn't we? Club box. Empty. Anything in the back? I don't see anything. Nah. Alright. Well, let's continue on our merry way. What we need to find right now, probably, is some shelter. Also, I should eat some food, which we have. Yes, we do. Om nom nom. Eat that. There we go. Okay. Still hypothermia rest. Cool. By eating a deer. Ooh, there's a cave over here. Is that actually a cave? Or is that just the textures look kinda weird? Yeah, it's sort of overhang. We could set up a we could set up a little camp down here if we really needed to, but we don't really need to right now. We're doing pretty okay. Um in terms of our, our stats for the moment. Can I get through here? Yeah, I can. Okay. So we're gonna keep going a little bit. It is snowing. That is really pretty looking snow. By the by, this game in general just looks really good for for having a more like cartoony art style, which usually I, I quite like. It looks really good. Okay. More wolves. Okay, that one's busy eating a rabbit. So we should just be able to hopefully sneak past him. 
gonna try and follow the road as best we can, because I think that's our ticket to at least some measure of safety. Can I get down from up here, or have I chosen a really stupid route? I've chosen a really stupid route, is the answer. Goddamn freezing. Okay, and now we're freezing. Good, good. It's all under control. Oh god, the wolves are howling. Ooh, there's a cave up there. Well, um, it is snowing an awful lot now, and we are freezing. So, could be a good chance to, uh, warm ourselves up, and importantly, save. Now that we've, uh, managed to get past the wolf of anger on the bridge. I just hope this isn't full of wolves, which, you know, it very well might be. Knowing my luck. Any wolves in here? No? Coal? Wait, I can just find coal lying around? Like... Dusk. So night can't be far behind. Okay. I'll, I'll take some coal rocks, I guess. I'm not... I guess we can use them to make fires, probably? Cool. Well, we're gonna set up our fire sort of nearest the entrance to keep the wolves out. Uh, da -da -da -da, campcraft... Light a fire. Why can I not? There we go. Light this fire. 55% success chance. What? No, I don't want to start with the torches. Start with the match. I cannot make that any better. There we go. Stick. Start that fire up. Woohoo! Oh shit, we need to put more fuel on that. Add fuel! What? No. Oh. Add fuel! There we go. Okay, that's better. Uh, let's just toss a bunch of these sticks on there, because we are basically spending the night here. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll add some reclaimed wood as well. Alright, we need a little bit more. Minutes before coal can be added, 19. Cripes, we're outputting a lot of heat. So, oh, we should, we should, uh, extinguish our torch before we waste too much of that. That would have been dumb. So we want to make this bigger. Basically, um, we want that to last the night. If we can find ourselves some more sticks real quick. Hopefully without getting attacked by wolves. There are no sticks on the ground. I do not see any anywhere. This is good. Alright. That is good to know. I don't want to go too far away. Because I don't really know where the wolves are. Um, and there's nothing else in this cave as far as I can tell, although we can, at least, um, drop our frozen clothes on the ground here, so that they will warm up a little bit. Drop that, um, 6% wet, yeah, I guess we'll drop that as well, and our extra pair of socks, there we go, so those should all hopefully warm up themselves. Is there anything actually in this cave? I didn't see anything, but we might have missed something. I'm not terribly observant. Ooh, more coal. I'll have to see about adding some coal to the fire. I'm kind of interested in knowing how much that, uh... How much that actually increases the fire's output. Can I add coal now? I can. A lot. It increases the fire's output a lot. By, like, a whole hour. Cool. So a couple more of those. Here we are. Alright, that should, uh... That should see us through the night, at least, and get our clothes nice and warmed up. So how about we set up our bedroll right next to the fire so we will be nice and warm. And we can sleep for, uh, I guess eight hours should do, right? Yeah, that'll give us enough time to cook some things if we need to once we wake up. And also, you know, throw some more, uh, Throw some more fuel on the fire if we need it. Hey, we didn't get eaten in our sleep. Perfect. Just how I like it. Drink some of this water. Drink some water. Uh, how are we doing for food? We should eat some food as well. And we actually don't have anything to cook. But while our fire's still going, we may as well um, boil up some water. Oops. Did not mean to boil zero liters. That would be stupid. Half, half a leadership. No. 
God damn it. Half a liter should be fine. Oh. We actually still have, uh... Still have plenty of time left. Can I... Am I, like... Why is my health constantly going down? I thought my health was supposed to go up when I... When I slept. Okay, well, um, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, blood loss, water purification. Nope, I have absolutely no idea why my health keeps going down. Oh well, pack up our bedroll. Actually, we can sleep for a couple more hours, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can sleep a couple more hours. Sleep for two more hours. Okay, how is my health doing now? 25. Okay, so it went up a teeny tiny bit. I did not sleep for two hours, I do not think. Oh, I guess I did. Or about... Ah! And our clothes are nice and toasty warm. Excellent. Let's put all them on. Ah, we didn't find the mittens this time, which is unfortunate. I... Oh, no, we did. Ha. Ah. Joke's on me. Um, we should eat a little bit more food. go. And then, I guess, it's still dark out. That is kind of annoying. Um, wait for an hour. And our fire went out. Okay, there. It's sort of darkish outside. Or, sort of lightish outside. I mean, no, I'm not forgetting anything, am I? No, I think we've picked up everything. Uh, where did the cave entrance go? Ah, crud. I can't even tell what direction I'm looking. Okay, wait, there's the wall. So we follow the wall around. Nope. Follow, there we go. There, it's right there. That was stupid of me. That's still snowing, but that's fine. We will deal with that. Um, we should also keep our torch handy, just in case. More sticks. Nice. I'm kind of sad that we used up, like, all of that coal, but I think it was probably worth it in the long run. Hey, there's a deer. Cool. It's not being eaten by wolves, which I guess means the wolves probably... Oh. Hello, the road forks. Um, this looks kind of blocked off, so why don't we go check down here. See what we can find this way. Or is this the right way? I think this might actually be the right way. Whatever, we're going to go this way. We are running a bit low on supplies to be uh, wasting a lot of time exploring right now. Some place to escape this cold. Ooh. Road sign, eh? Mil Milton. It doesn't have a distance. That's a helpful sign. Oh, we're going the right way, I guess. I wonder where the other road leads. Huh. Oh. It's not like we're not going to have an opportunity to come back and check later. I don't think we're going to get uh, stopped from backtracking. I mean, we might. Feels unlikely in this game. Ooh, a church. Well, it's not a terrible place to be. Affliction hypothermia risk. Okay, cool. Hello. There's a wolf right there that I almost walked straight into because I wasn't paying attention. And that ice does not look terribly stable. Okay, let's uh, be very careful here. Oh, there's another wolf over there. Cool. The church looks like it could be a good shelter. Hey guys. Nope, we're gonna go inside. Screw you, wolves. Ha! Suck it. You guys can't even open doors. What is in here? How bright is it in here? Okay, we can kind of see in here. We don't need to waste our torch. What can we find? A book. Ah, oh, cool. We can use that as fuel. Pastor's note. Uh, let us read the text on this. This is a heavy heart that I... Oh, dear parishioners, this is the heavy heart that I inform you of Archdiocese's decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. Though there have never been more than a few of you in recent years, your dedication to the church and support of my efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only. Continued Latin lessons also. This is my apologies. God bless. Father Francis Miguel. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take that, because I can probably burn it later. 
Uh, same for this book. Okay, so, ooh, there's a bed there. Is this like a proper bed? It doesn't say bed roll. Granola bar, cardboard box. Ooh, I can break it down. Cool. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do that. We are gonna make a fire in here. Um, there's a pillow, that's good. Another book. Ooh, a flare. Fantastic. There's hatchet to break down. Okay, well, we don't have a hatchet. I don't know when we're gonna find one, so... Such is life, I guess. Ooh, fleece mittens. Are those better than our current ones? What are we, what are we currently wearing? Fleece mittens? New fleece mittens. Hang on. Wait, was that the ones that I was wearing, or... Okay, I guess they are. And I'm getting hungry again. Um, oh, we have those granola bars. Or, yeah, we have granola bars we can eat. Cool. Ah. Those do not give us a whole ton, but uh, better than nothing, I guess. And we can light this campfire. Starter. Yep. All good. Start that fire. Hey, we got a campfire. Well, thank goodness for that. Fantastic. And it's right near our bed, which I think is better than a bedroll, so... Ooh, and there's books in here. Okay, so clearly someone was surviving in here. Stack of papers. Ooh, hidden one. It's in Latin. Cool. Oh, no, English column. It's about Armageddon, it looks like. Cool. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this wood as well. Can I break this? No, I need a hatchet to break that. Oh, shit. Put some fuel on this, eh? There we go. A little bit of fuel. Can I cook anything? I can cook the peaches? Sure, why not? Oh, I'm opening. Wait, what? Why do I need a campfire to open the peaches? Oh, okay, now I'm cooking. Cool. Uh, can I eat those, then? I'm gonna eat these. Wow, okay, that gave us a bunch of, uh... That gave us a bunch of, um... Water and food. Good. Well... I guess we can wait here and warm up for a little bit, since this is, you know, sheltered. And actually, this does not seem like too bad of a spot to end the episode. So why don't we add some more fuel to this. And uh, I'm going to sleep so we can save. And that is going to be all for today. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.